Let's discuss how scientists back then discovered the concept of charge. They noticed that when you rub some materials against a different material, such as a glass rod with a wool cloth, these objects will have a charge. Of course, back then they didn't know what was this thing called charge, but they did know that these rubbed objects could attract small paper bits, attract or repel other rubbed objects, and when brought close to the face or the arm, causes a sensation like that of encountering a cobweb. Try this at home. Take a balloon and rub it with a cloth. You should be able to see all of these effects. Another easy way of getting charged objects is by pulling scotch tape off some materials, like a glass window. The scotch tape should be charged. Charged objects exert forces on some nearby objects. For example, when you charge a comb by rubbing it, it attracts pieces of paper. Uh, the rub comb slowly loses charge to the environment, so after a while, it cannot uh, exert the same amount of force on pieces of paper. This force is distinct from gravity because um, the comb doesn't always attract um, the paper with the same strength, but when you rub it harder, it attracts the paper with um, more force. So we know that these forces are much stronger than gravity because the force from this little bit of charge on this small comb is able to overcome the force of gravity from the entire Earth. So we know that charging an object produces a force that is different in origin and strength from gravity. All this evidence suggests to us that there is something that you can give some objects by rubbing called charge, which exerts forces on some nearby objects.